up to 9 million Canadians today do not have dental insurance. This, will, uh, this action today will help support them to get the access they uh, need to oral health care. Oral health care they need and deserve. Canada's dental care program begins with seniors and those under 18 first in line. Canadians over 87 will be able to register for care this month with additional age groups being added in the new year. Defending the program's $13 billion price tag, Health Minister Mark Holland says the cost of delaying dental care is far higher. Uh, when I'm talking to oral health care professionals who are devastated by the fact that they're seeing people who, because they don't have access to care, wait until that becomes an enormous crisis in their health and they go into a hospital. The cost of that care is huge. The, the program is based on income and is only open to households earning less than $90,000 a year. Seniors don't need to wonder when to apply. The seniors minister says letters and phone calls will go out when registration is open for their age bracket. The president of the Ontario Dental Association is broadly supportive of the plan but would have liked to see provincial associations consulted earlier. I think this is a great initiative. You know, for those that have dental insurance, keep your dental insurance. We've been hearing rumors that people are going around saying, oh, drop your dental insurance. This dental plan by the federal government is supposed to help people that have fallen through the cracks that don't have dental insurance, not for the people that have dental insurance. This is one of the key initiatives of the Liberal NDP supplying confidence deal, but another, Pharmacare, is still in question. The NDP leader says there's progress behind the scenes. We're still in negotiations. We were having, we're having good conversations, so I'd say stay tuned. And in terms of what we've been doing, it's, it's really a question of how we're using our power. We've been using our power in this minority government to give people help, to make this parliament work for people. The NDP Liberal deal requires pharma legislation to be tabled before the end of the year. But with parliament adjourning at the end of the week, Liberal ministers have said that's not likely. We are uh, you know, going to be in a position, I think, in a very short period of time to, to give more information on that. In the next four days? Uh, certainly we'll be saying something in the next four days. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.